There was a certain man in a certain city who was the town drunk, and everyone knew he was a drunk, open, fasik, and this man died, and the people of the town refused to have him buried in their cemetery. So this poor man's wife, she took her husband's body and dragged it out to the desert, and now she's digging the grave for her husband. As this is happening, an Arif Billah, a Gnostic is walking by and he sees the scene and immediately he rushes down and helps her and digs the hole and places her husband in the, in the hole and buries him and prays Janaza over his body. And then the wife says, do you know who this husband of mine was? He was the town drunk. He said, I don't know about that. But what I do know is last night I had a dream and a voice told me that tomorrow you're going to be walking in the desert. You're going to see a woman trying to bury her husband. Help her. Her husband is a man of Jannah. Her husband is a man of paradise. So that's what I did. And then he left and the people of the town caught up with him. And they said to him, do you know who that man was? Why did you help him? He said, I don't know. And he told, him, he told them the story again. And then the people of the town approached this man's wife and they said, how can this man be a man of Jannah? Can you think of anything he used to do? And she said, I can think of three things. He was never devoid of two or three orphans that he cared for more than his own children. In the morning when he would wake up from his wine, he would go take a shower, make ghusl, and then he would go pray Salatul Fajr in jama'ah, in congregation, in the masjid. And when he would come home at night from his wine, he would go to a certain part of our house. He would fall on his knees and raise his hands to the heavens and say, Oh God, which corner of hell are you going to fill with this wretched servant of yours? And he would make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.